Hello YouTube, this is uh, Samuel Beeman here of UK Train Sounds and I'm here to do a tutorial video on how to install one of our sound files. Okay, so basically here we are, we can see that we have our uh, UK Train Sounds website um, sort of, you know, set up here. Okay, so we go into, firstly what we do is we, uh, well we we, well, we go into our UK diesel sounds and we choose our specific locomotive we would like to download. Um, I have all of the sounds saved to my hard drive so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to obviously Sam Beam and G and obviously UK Train Sounds finished products and obviously here we have all of our sounds here. So the question is um, what sound should I install? Um, so basically I need to think about um, what sounds I need to install on my trains. Okay, so we're just going to um, obviously minimise our website. Obviously, you know, um, how to download it, you obviously go on, you go on to the locomotive pages, you press the download button, you'll get linked to a media fire page, and then you just press the download and it'll automatically download to your computer. Um, so here we are, this is my messy desktop, do bear with me, uh, it is a bit of a mess. But we're going to open our trains launcher, we're going to go to manage content and bring up the content manager. And then we're going to have a look at my content, see which ones we need to install. Okay, so basically um, we've got, obviously we've got 37 sounds, we've got 25 sounds, um, I need my retro class 20 installed so what we're going to do is we are going to open up the ultimate retro class 20 engine sounds uh, sound uh, file um, and basically here you can see that we have two um, folders uh, we've got one well one folder and one PDF the PDF is the user manual and it tells you about how to use the um, sounds and how to get the very best out of them so how to drive the locomotive what steps need to be taken etc okay so first things that we're going to want to do um, obviously so this is the content manager the trains content manager um, and originally uh, the content manager was a lot simpler than what it is now uh, originally, what you'd have to have done, if, for example, if you own um, an earlier Trains version, for example, Trains 2004, 2006, 2010, all the way up to Trains 12, you'll uh, have to go into File, New Content, um, and basically that would come up. But that would come up with a pop-up that will say what type of file you want this file to be. So it would come up with a selection of different types of categories for the file and obviously you would have horn sounds or engine sounds and then you would select the uh, appropriate sound for the asset creation. Right, in the newer content manager for Trains A New Era and Trains 2019 uh, it is a lot more complex and it doesn't, well, it sadly doesn't have that pop-up menu where we can change our, you know, file type and, uh, you know, what content we want it to be. So the way I do it in Trains 2019 is I go to Developer, New Content, and it says create a new asset done with zero errors and zero warnings you'll see that our new asset is selected there um, and it's open for edit okay so if you were starting from fresh say if this was your first you know installation of one of our um, sounds uh, this is an English electric engine okay class 20 is an English electric engine what I'll do is, well, first of all, we open up the new asset by pressing, um, well, we right click and it comes up with obviously open and we want to open and show in Explorer. So here we have our new asset details along with our config text document. So what we do is we open our config text document and you'll see that there is a QID. 
as well, and obviously the kind, which is obviously the asset kind, is unknown because, as I said, it doesn't seem to let you change that in this newer release of trains which is a shame and it's a bit of a pain in the butt if anyone knows how to do this then great you know you can do it but uh, this is obviously the more complex way of doing it and it seems to be the only way that I can actually get it to work in trains railroad simulator 2019 or trains a new era um, so okay so we've got our config notepad file open we need to go to installed and for example let's let's look up the class 37 sounds for example because they're probably closest to a 20 well, I know it's an English electric type 2 and then the English electric type 1 is a class 20 but you know or if you have the 20s already installed in which case I don't you would go to the class 20 information and copy that over anyhow we're going to do the 37 today because I don't have the uh, 20 actually installed on my game so we want to go to 37 is it um, engine sound I think it is yeah there we are BR class 37 engine sounds version 2 and we go open obviously and show an explorer like we did before and we're going to open the config file for the 37 okay so what we're going to do here is we are going to copy the uh, kind description trains build category class category category region uh, eras and all of that lark asset file name um, licensing all of that so all of the stuff that is selected on the screen as you can see here we are going to copy that and then we are just going to paste that into our config file for our new asset so there we are, now it has kind engine sound in and it's now saying that the description is an English Electric 12C SVT diesel engine, um, which I'm not 100% certain that that is the 20s engine, but you know, it's what's gonna come up in details of this asset that we're creating. So it isn't really essential as it were, but it's just to get it to actually work. Okay, so as we can see, we've, come, we've got all of this and um, obviously, firstly, we need to change some bits and pieces. So we need to change the username to Ultimate Retro Class 20 Engine Sounds. All of this is the same as the horn as well. You can do, you do this same principle with the horn sounds as well, just to let you guys know. Okay, so we've got the Ultimate Retro Class 20 Engine Sounds. We're going to copy that as well and place that into the asset file name as well. There we go, so that's all sorted. Okay, so now we come to the author, which is me. So I'm just gonna put Samuel C33, which is my username. Organization, I mean it is UK Train Sounds, but our full organization is British Locomotive Studios. Loco, oh Christ, Motive Studios. Okay, contact email, we don't need contact email or website, we don't need any of that, and we don't need licensing either, really, to be honest. But if you want to put license in, please put um, UK Train Sounds on, um, obviously, licensing. Okay, so there we are. But obviously, you know, make sure when you are doing this, do not copy the original CUID from the file that we copied the info from, because if you copy the CUID, it will just overwrite it and you cock everything up, as it were. Okay, so we're now going to save that config for our new asset now. As you saw there, we saved it. And we're going to close everything. Yep, everything. Um, oh, actually, sorry. My content, we go uh, new asset. I'll ignore that sound. Uh, Shine Explorer. Um, okay, so this is where we copy our sound files in. So. We must copy our sound files in to our new asset underneath the config file. So that should be all there. Just check if it's the right one. Yep, that sounds like a class 20 to me. There we are. So we've got the class 20 in there. We've got new asset. Perfect. And now we go to submit edits. And that should submit it. Okay, so that's now no longer new asset. Okay, now if we scroll down. We can see 
Ultimate Retro Class 20 engine sounds are in there as the new asset is created. Perfect. Now, obviously, the next thing to do would be to apply it to a locomotive. Um, I've got no loco to use um, of, of Class 20. Oh, actually, I, that's a lie. I have got a Class 20 somewhere on here. Um, I've just remembered. Um, so we're going to go into our asset config file again. We're going to copy the CUID. Okay, so we keep that copied. Perfect. So we go to installed now and type in class 20. And as you can see, I have a class 20 here. Uh, blue with discs fitted. Right, so now we have opened up our class 20 um, asset which obviously is the same principle as everything else that you've seen so we go open then show in explorer we then go to the config file again and then we head down to where it says engine sound as we can see here and what we want to do is we want to replace the original cuid with the new one that we have copied and make sure that that is done on any of the engine sound um, uh, areas so just engine sound not anything else just engine sound and replace if it's the horn sound obviously you want to replace the horn sound cuid okay so now we go save on our notepad make sure you press save on the notepad once you've made the changes we close that and now basically we submit the edit on the 20 but as we can see here now um, this has now come up with modified and faulty uh, now this is for reasons, okay, so this class 20 is a class 20 from the DLC Edinburgh to Waverley, I think it is, route for trains. Now, none of our sounds work with DLC locomotives, and that is what's happened here. So that is a DLC loco, and I can't modify it purely because, obviously for reasons of copyright, payware, all of that lot. So main, it only works with download station class 20s. So uh, obviously, as that hasn't worked, I do apologise. Um, I don't have any 20s installed to be able to show you the sounds actually working. But I'm guessing that this has given you the sort of principle on how to do it as it were. Um, right, okay, so if we just, if that, if this happens, by the way, if this happens and you do get this issue, make sure you go into revert to original, right click and revert to original when you do this, if, 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 if a locomotive doesn't work with the sound files, just so it goes back to original and it doesn't come up as faulty. Okay, so what can we do in order to show you these things actually working? Okay, so I've got class 33 sounds. I know I have class 33 sounds, okay? So we're gonna to go to our class 33 advanced engine sound. And we're gonna obviously do the same procedure, go into the config on the engine sounds, copy the CUID. And we're gonna to go to one of our installed class 33 locos. I'm gonna pick one that I know that definitely works. Um, okay, and we're going to go to the class 33 naught green, no yellow, and we're going to change the engine sound file. I'll change the horns later on, but for now we're just focusing on the engine sound file. Okay, so we've changed that. We've uh, we've obviously we've, we've copied our CUID in, and it's all nicely done. Copied in there, as you can see, perfectly fine. We've saved our config notepad file. We're going to close that. Um, oh, uh, yeah, uh, horns. No, I don't, mm, no, forget the horns for now. We'll do that later on. Um, so we've changed the engine sound because this, obviously this video is going to be too long otherwise. So let's test our 33 naught in green. As you saw, it wasn't faulty that time because it's a download station product and it won't be an issue. So we now go on start trains and we load our loco up driver. Um, let's just head to a random route, for example, this Bodmin and Wenford Railway, for example, and go on a quick drive session. And then we will uh, load in our green 33. 
and uh, hopefully our sounds should be on the loco. Okay, so we want to go to BR class 33, not green. There we are, no yellow, perfect. And we're going to head down to Boscan Junction and place the loco down, like so. <laughs> And it hasn't worked. Or was it the was it the two I changed in green? Okay, no. Okay, so for some reason, um, our sound hasn't changed. I don't know why this is and why it's doing that. Okay, so we're going to end this session and just take a look and see what we've actually done. Um, installed. So class thirty three. Okay, let's have a look. Ah, I've seen what I've done. Now, this this is the issue, you see. Now, this this is quite good to be seeing in this video, right? Okay, so we have um, we have uh, obviously seen that um, if you do not submit the edits, there is no changes. So we've got every time you change a sound, uh, you know, obviously you change the QID, it saves the QID save the notepad file you must go on submit edits as you can see we now submit it and it says modified now let's try again okay so that was my fault there my bad my mistake and let's go again it's slightly awkward isn't it okay so br class 3300 oh, green, no yellow. Okay, let's do it again. So sometimes, you know, you can make these sort of errors and forget to submit the edits. Okay, so there we go. Our sound file has now changed to one of our sound projects. This is the um, 33109 uh, sound set, which isn't yet released on our channel. So you're getting a a look at one of our unreleased sounds at the moment. Um, we want Mark 1, let's just place two of these. Um, yeah, let's just place that random TPO down for now. So we, just, we could just test our logo and see if it works fine. Okay, so off we go. We're going to depart Boscan Junction with this 33. is the process on how to um, obviously edit the sound files and get the sounds working within our trains railroad simulator so I hope this video has been helpful for you guys um, obviously the reason I made this is just so uh, it will give you a more direct approach on how to install these sounds and the process of doing it now uh, before we end the video, I'm just going to uh, talk about the terms and conditions about how to uh, w the use of these sounds. Okay, so basically we are we're okay, obviously with you using the sounds, um, and obviously if you want it applied to a selected model, um, and uh, you want it uploaded to the download station, for example, you have got permission to do that. However, if you do use our sounds and upload it to the download station, we advise you to obviously email us or, um, or obviously just credit us in um, in the description of the model and the sounds used. So make sure you credit uh, Samuel Beeman and Will Braddock of UK Train Sounds for the sounds 
and obviously you know when you do upload these sounds to the download station you need to make sure to obviously upload the locomotive model but you also need to make sure to upload the assets of the sounds so you need to upload obviously the engine sounds and the horn sounds as separate and then obviously they'll all download uh, from the download station to the model and then that means the sounds can be used within multiplayer and that is something we would actually like um, to have really to be honest so we would advise you to actually upload the sounds um, to a model um, in trains obviously of the class that it's obviously meant for the sounds to be put on um, so that we can actually all use it in multiplayer and have some fun in multiplayer with some fantastic obviously real life recordings of UK trains um, so yeah but make sure when you do upload them or if you do upload them if you could decide to just obviously credit us in the credentials and um, yeah and that's that Anyway, so thank you for watching this uh, UK Train Sounds uh, tutorial. I hope this has been helpful for you. And, uh, and it's given you the, the sort of step-by-step -step, um, process of how to install the sounds. And yeah, just have a go at it yourselves and uh, enjoy. Thank you for watching, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe and share us about. Cheers.